Hey everyone, it's Michael Dugo with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message where I'm going to share with you seven tips for first time buyers. My goal is to really make the whole process of your first transaction as simple and as stress-free as possible. But hey, before we begin, who do you know that's either buying or selling? My customers get excellent service. Call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. Let's get right into it. Tip number one would be make sure you're aware of the minimum down payment. The down payment is going to depend on the purchase price of the property. In order to keep your mortgage throughout the term as low as possible, I would recommend that you do save 20%. My second tip would be to get a pre-approval. Very often, a buyer may think that the first course of action is to contact a real estate agent, but you are much better off getting a pre-approval so you have an idea as to how much you can purchase. My tip Tip number three is to make sure that you can really afford the home that you want. And this doesn't necessarily mean the purchase price in itself, but the general maintenance of the property for that specific property, right? What could you afford as far as your property taxes? Maybe if it's a condo, then you have monthly maintenance fees. There's heating and there's electricity bills. So these are things which should, of course, be accounted for. My tip number four would be to shop around. And I don't mean that in the context of looking for a home, but I mean it in the context of getting a mortgage. Most people do just approach a bank. However, a bank is only going to have a certain number of mortgage vehicles you can say that they could use and you want to be aware of all of your options. Which leads us to tip number five, which is to consider using a mortgage broker. The advantages of a mortgage broker is that basically for free, you're not paying them anything, they will shop around for the best mortgage vehicle for you. They may be actually able to get you something that is not offered at the bank. Um, when you stop and think about it, a big bank like TD, there's so many branches, they have all these overhead costs, you may not get the best rate with them simply because of expenses that they have. So consider using a mortgage broker, it's a good idea just to speak to a couple of people and really know again what your options are. My tip number six would be to take advantage of first time home buyer programs. And first time home buyer programs, these are great. These are basically incentives from the government. So it will depend on your current situation. If you're buying pre-construction, you may be eligible to some benefits that you may not be eligible for if it is, for example, like a resale. You have the ability to take money from your RSPs, right? There is a deduction you can get as far as your land transfer tax is concerned, which is due on the purchase. And my tip number seven would be to keep on saving. I would say a good rule of thumb is to save three to 5% of the purchase price as reserves. This three to 5%, a lot of it's gonna be exhausted on your closing costs, specifically your land transfer tax. However, most people, when they move into a property, they do start to update it, you know, make changes, or it may be revealed in the home inspection that you need a new roof or you need new windows. So it's a good idea just to have some money there on the side. Guys, I really hope you found this information helpful. Um, if you can think of anyone else that may as well find the information helpful, just uh, forward the email over to them if you received it by email or uh, copy and paste the YouTube link if you just happen to come across me on YouTube. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, comment. My customers get excellent, excellent service. Who do you know that's either buying or selling? Call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218 and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.